so this is a basic series parallel. So if you have your standard fender uh, control wiring harness, you know, volume, volume, tone, same on this, plus one thing, series. That's it. And the controls are just that simple. You cannot adjust by, you cannot adjust vol uh, each pickup in series. You do have a master knob here in, when you're in series. So if I got, I'm in series now, it's up. If I turn it down, it's all the way down. No matter what I do with this, this, this is dead, the bridge volume. But, you know, in parallel, that's normal if I kill the volume on that, and this one's all the way up, it's still, it's going to bleed through. Now, if I put this in series right now, mute switch. But, uh, so here's, hang on, let me dial in something for, for me. It's pretty dark. It. There's no with uh, with this kind of setup. There's no well, not really a um, what would you call it like a pros and well, I guess there is pros and cons. Like in the three-way toggle switch, if you put it in series and then you throw it towards the neck, it mutes it out. If you have a series parallel blend knob, well, there's certain types of wirings, but the one that I'm making and selling on Reverb with the blend knob is the volume actually goes down when you're in par parallel. It actually grounds everything out. So it's a weird, that's a weird one. Um, yeah, but this this is a pretty standard. This is like a first upgrade. I think every uh, jazz bass should get, you know, try it out as a series parallel. Because, I mean, it's, you got, you're not straying too far away from your first set of controls, volume, volume, tone, and all you've got to do is pull that up, you're in series and you've got a master volume. This dies, of course. This bridge volume, it's useless now. I'm all the way up on that. Does nothing. If I do this, the bridge is on. And you can be your Jocko stuff or whatever. Alright, cool. And one last thing I just thought of, let's, you know, let's actually compare a split coil sound with people who think that two, two of the jazz single coils together will equate out like a split single coil on a P bass. And it just doesn't. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe it works for you. This isn't about 
series. This is this is a Tony Franklin thing. But, uh, neck, middle, bridge. We'll just stay on P on the neck. Volume all the way up. Tone somewhere in chunky land. What was I playing? two singles in series and they're cool but uh, that's not going to get you the same sound the same what it called chunky sound as you would on a P bass. Installation of a basic series parallel plate for a fender so I've got these are necessary um, color coded so blue white hot bridge blue is for bridge white is for hot so if you got white and no blue that's neck same for black that's ground so there's only three don't wait hang on don't get confused by these wires these are my pickup wires and that's my bridge plate ground here <laughs> so on here you'll have to connect your bridge ground the black wire this guy to the back of this pot and your ground wire back here. Everybody else go to their pigtails up here. Now quickly put some electrical tape on here. I do it at a V shape so if I do it square it's <laughs> really hard to take off but uh, for temporary things because I'm changing these out all the time. Electric tape is wonderful. If you're really looking for something more permanent use heat shrink get that at Lowe's, Home Depot various sizes um, if you want to do heat shrink for this size I would recommend Home Depot's let's see here yeah, 364 so I'll go from this size to this size um, which is pretty tight keep in mind if you have to take that off in the future some uh, nippers it's not fun so keep that in mind all right I'm gonna solder the bridge ground to here and the bridge plate wire ground to here everybody else is good to go 